Hey everybody, it's me Kimber here at the Enchanted Oak Farm and we're making boars and cheese spread today. What you're seeing here are two bags of my kefir, which is also a cream cheese that I made from my own kefir. Here's all the spices that we're using today and the ingredients will be in the description box. So here we go, I'm gonna start with just one bag of my cream cheese made from raw milk kefir. Takes about two days to get the cream cheese to this consistency to where we can make our orzen. I'm just scraping off the milk bag. If you haven't made your own kefir or clabbered your own milk from raw milk, you must. It's just amazing and has so many, so many health benefits. So there's my cream cheese. And that's about, if you were going to buy cream cheese in the store, that's about two packages, you know, regular sized packages of cream cheese. And I'm adding a farm organic raw butter to this as well. I'll put the measurements again in the description box. I eyeball it because I've made so much of this cheese that I, you know, honestly with Borzen, the sky's the limit. It's whatever you like, or, you know, leave out what you don't like, but you can add butter, you can add what I'm doing here, adding Parmesan cheese, grating some up, about a cup of Parm. You can do less, you can do more, again play with this recipe. It's a fun recipe and it's so delicious. Gets a little boring here. I'm just grating away. Trying not to eat the cheese because I love Parmesan cheese. I've just realized I'm using the wrong size grater. And again, there's no wrong, there's no exact anything to making this, truly. We made a Borzen this morning, and Carl, as some of you know, as a professional chef, suggested that we add some of our fermented lemons to it with dill and garlic. And I'll tell you, it is amazing. He's my go-to guy. If I'm ever a little concerned about something I'm doing, I just ask him and because he's in the kitchen every single day, he always has some really sound advice for me. Keeps me from making some catastrophic boo-boos in the kitchen. I'm adding a little bit of Himalayan salt here because I did not salt my kefir while it was hanging. Now I'm adding about a tablespoon of dried oregano. You can use fresh as well. I was lazy. I was making a quick boars in here. I just didn't feel like grabbing. Um, I do have some salted veg, uh, herbs from our garden. They're in canning jars with Himalayan salt. And I just was being lazy and thought, no, let's just use the dried stuff. I'm adding parsley, dried chives, garlic, dill, and that's about it. And then I'm going to take my pastry cutter and I'm gonna just blend all of this yumminess together. There's the dill. That's it, folks. Blend, blend, blend. If you have crackers nearby, it's never a bad thing to grab a cracker and sample some of your yumminess that you just made. And as you will see, this is going to make about two and a half containers, which are like, uh, like each container holds about a quarter, cup and a quarter of borzen. Or one and a quarter cups of boars and cheese and I'm going to use my canning funnel to scoop it into my jars and then they go in the refrigerator and 
the last, you know, couple of weeks, sometimes more, you know, um, I don't get real picky about that. I haven't found that any of our borzins have gone bad in the refrigerator. So you can, again, like I said, you can either make your own kefir from raw milk or pasteurized milk. You cannot use ultra pasteurized milk to make kefir or to make a clabber. Um, you can use ready-made cream cheese. I'm not gonna get specific with names, can be generic or the other ones. Um, whatever, but have fun with this because it really is fun and it's delicious and they make great gifts for family and friends. So simple yet so delicious. We made a lot of this and also made our sourdough crackers, which there is a tutorial on our YouTube channel as well. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.